Okay, now that our character can walk, I'll show you what I mean here. Now the character can walk up and down and left to right. What we also want to do is make him look like he's walking left and right and up and down. Right now, he moves left and right and up and down, but it's still the little feet pattern going up and down and him facing front. So we're going to make it look that he actually looks like he actually turns side to side and turns forward and backward when he's walking. So that will be what we'll do right now. So to do that, I'm going to go into the um, library and I'm going to um, go into my hero character. So there's the hero character. I'll double click and I go right into the character and then I'm going to use my zoom tool and I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so I have them up here and um, what we're going to do is I'm going to also put some extra frames in between these different motions. So what I'll do is I'll select the first keyframe and I'll hit F5 and F5 and then I'll hit the next keyframe F5 and F5. That adds regular frames and then the next keyframe F5 to add a regular frame F5 and F5 and F5. Okay and then I'm going to make a new layer and what I'm also going to do is on this one right here what I'll also do is I'm going to hit F5 one more time and then I'm going to take this keyframe and I'm going to drag it over and then I'll copy it, copy frame, right click on the keyframe and then go to copy frame and then right click on this blank keyframe and paste frame. So I've got him in standing position twice now and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to give this a um, frame label for this first position. And this frame label in this first position will be stand. So I select the keyframe right there, stand, and um, I'm going to say S-T-A-N-D and hit enter in the frame label name box. And then on the next one, I'm going to make a keyframe here, make a keyframe here. Um, F6 to make a keyframe and then on this keyframe I'm going to give it the label go down no spaces all lowercase and then hit enter so this is the go down frame label and this is the stand frame label and then at the end of this right here to match the last keyframe I'm going to put a keyframe right there F6 on this new layer and on this keyframe, I'm going to put some action script. Open my actions window, and I'm going to type this, meaning this uh, timeline, the timeline that I'm in. This timeline dot go to capital A and capital P, play, open and close parentheses and a semicolon, and I'm going to say within quotation marks go down. So now this is the um, there's a piece of code on this keyframe right here now action script um, and if I open the actions window window actions you can see that it says actions frame it's going to be on the frame this meaning this timeline dot go to and play go down now that's important that I said this meaning this timeline that means this timeline the hero's timeline we're in the hero's timeline because each movie clip has its own timeline. So since we're in the hero's movie clip, this is the hero's timeline. If I click on scene one, this is the scene one timeline. This is the root timeline or the scene one timeline. And if I go in the library and double click on the hero movie clip, this is the movie clips timeline. Okay, so now once I've done that, it's time to do the go down, uh, the go up uh, position. So I'll put a keyframe here, right click insert keyframe and put the name go up enter and then it's time to add the different positions so insert a blank keyframe here right and one thing that I could do here let's see here is I could actually just swap movie clips with another movie clip in the library so let's see here swap and let's see here back stand click OK and that swaps with the back stand. Then I'll put in F5 here to add three more keyframes 
and then here I'll put a keyframe, insert keyframe, and then I'll swap it with the leg up back stand. So I click on the graphic and in the property window click the swap button and back walk. Click OK and that swaps it with the back walk and the um, left foot is up here so that's fine. I'll just go one, two, three, F5. Alright, and then I just want to copy and paste this previous one. Copy frames and paste frames. I'm right clicking to get on the frame. And F5. Okay, so standing, left leg up, right leg down. Now before, um, he has the right leg up first, I think. Let's see here. Right leg up. No, left leg up. That's good. All right, so left leg up and then stand. And now I need to, I could just copy this one. Copy frames and paste frames. Add three more regular frames by hitting F5 after selecting this keyframe. And I want to then select the keyframe. And then I'm going to deselect, click on the stage click on the character, modify. Notice I didn't double click on the movie clip. If I double click, I go inside of the graphic symbol and I don't want to do that. I want to just be in the hero movie clip. I want to click it once to select it, modify, transform, flip horizontal. And now I have the back walk. So legs on the ground, leg up, leg down, other leg up. And then right here on the um, layer 2, I'm going to stick a keyframe, F6. What I could do is actually just copy the code from the other one, right click, copy frame, right click, paste frame, and then open up my actions window and change it to go up. Alright, and then hit file, save, and it's looking good. Now I have the go down position set and the go up position set. Okay, I'm back here and it's time to make him go uh, to the right and to the left. So I put a keyframe here, named it the frame label go right, and now I've played I put a keyframe here on this next frame, I made a keyframe, and I placed this character. But what I want to do is before I do that, I'm going to go to view rulers uh, view rulers and I'm going to drag out a ruler here that shows the left part I mean the right part of the character and I'm also going to drag out a ruler that shows the center line and then when I go to this next character the sideways position what I'll do is I will center the character and because I, I think that would be better. So then I can drag out another ruler that shows um, maybe this right side here and that might help, it might not, we'll see. So I need that for um, four frames. So I hit F5 and so there's the sideways standing position. Now I'll insert a blank keyframe and get the, I have a walk one, side walk one and I'll drag it out and I'll place it and actually what's going to be better though is to just center the character on the registration line and then also I can I can see how much it jumps and if I like the jump or not and what I'm going to do is select it and slide it one pixel to the right and so now it looks just like that Okay, and I need that for four frames, so I'll hit F5 here. All right, and so now I have that. I'll copy this frame back to the walk position and paste and add regular frames, F5. And now it's time for the next walk position. So um, insert a blank keyframe and get walk two, sidewalk two. and center it and then see if I a 
like it. I'm going to select it and slide it one pixel to the right. And I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so add some extra frames, F5. And so now what I have is I have this, that, and okay, so standing sideways, walking sideways, standing sideways, lifting the other leg up sideways. I need a piece of action script right here, F6, and this dot go to and play go right. Okay, and a semicolon. All right, that looks good. So I have this, and now I have the go right scenario. And what I can do is I can watch this. I will click this, and we'll see here, and I will hold down the shift key and select the whole thing. And I will right click, copy frames, and then I will just highlight all those and paste frames. And it pasted the whole thing onto the next set. All I have to do is go in here and change go right to go left, right, hit enter. I have to change my code, my action script code to go left, right. And then I have to flip the characters. So I select the character and modify, transform, flip horizontal, and do the same thing for the other keyframes. Select the character, modify, transform, flip horizontal, and we're just flipping them around. So now I have the left action here, and I have the right action, and I have the up, and I have the down. And so I'm now I'm ready to make this character move to these different positions in code 